Hello everybody, here's Ahmed Nasser from HNW Consult Mina. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to upload and use data loader in order to upload data to a specified record type. So, sometimes you need to upload data, but data are uploaded to a specified record type, for example, the default one. For example, I got this example, inventory item serial. When I go new, I can see here I have two record types. So, when I use data loader, which one I use? This one or this one? Sometimes it might be go to this one, it might be go uh, to this one. So, you have to um, take a decision, what is the default record type that I want to upload the data to? So, in this example, if you go here, I got this item serials, and I need to upload them to a specified inventory record type. So, I need to know what is the record type ID. In order to know what is the record type ID, you have to know what is the record type ID for this one and what is the record type ID for this one. So, in order to achieve that, I can go to um, inventory item serial and I can see here, I can make a new view. Here's the new view. And this is going to be for uh, record type where where uh, record ID I have record ID I have record type where record type is equal to I can see the lookup to part in search so I I just gonna look up the parts here save create this view and also just gonna create another view that gonna takes uh, the other record type which is Nicky Tabby. All right, insert. It's gonna take net from here. Oh, just one. And here, I just got two views. First one here, parts five five five. That one is Nicky Tabby ten. So let me just get the first one, the first item serial name into a Notepad. So this is gonna be for Nicky Tabby, and I'm just gonna choose the part and for example this one is going to be for my part record type so in case that I want to upload the data for netkitab I need to know what is the record ID for for netkitab and what is the record type ID for the part so record type ID is not known so in case that I want to upload these two, these four elements into record type ID from type net, I need to put the record type ID here. And the, the last four, I need to upload them, for example, to part. So I need to type the record type ID here in the second column. So where do I get the record type ID? If you go to this part, for example, and you go navigate down a little bit, you can see we got record time and also we got record record ID. But I need to know what is the record type that the data here are mapped to. So in order to know what uh, what are the default record type, we need to go to use uh, data order here. So do, you log in and you click export. I just need to work with this object inventory item serial. So I choose inventory item serial. Browse for the data to be extracted. So it's going to be extracted here. So I save this file. Click next. And I just need the two fields that I want. This is the first one. This is the second one. So I add another condition. But the first condition here, select all the fields. All right. And here is my condition. I'm just going to select equal. And the first one for net gonna be this one. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna, gonna compare the name at another condition where name is equal to this and or let me see or name is equal to let me say this one. 
So I just want to select the two option values. The first one is related to 10, which is net kitabi. I know I need to know what is the record type for it, ID, and I need to know what is the record type ID for this five file, which is related to part. So I'm just going to go here and click finish. And say so you have chosen perform and export, click yes to begin. You got, we got two successful results. I'm just going to uh, click yes. I go to extract CSV. I can see here all the related file and list that I want. So this is the record ID. This is the owner. This is the name. Uh, this is the important. This is what I want here. This is the record type ID. So I can know right now the first one, which is uh, which is related to uh, net and part. I need to know is this for net or is this for part. So in order to know that, I just want to search for this ID. Control find find next. So I can see here is the name. So number ten, which is considered as net. The ID for it is this one. So I just copy it from here. And this is for record type ID for net. And the other one must be for the part. So I just copy this record type ID and paste it over here. This is going to be related to part. All right. So let me just go a little bit here, see other things. I guess this is everything that we want here. All right, that, that's pretty much good. Um, after I, I knew right now uh, the two uh, record type ID, I can go to copy this record type, and I go here into my um, Excel sheet, and I can say this is RCID, for example. This is going to be related to um, net part, so this is net part, this is net part, this is net part. And also, I need to add part. So let me add this and this and, for example, this. And the rest of these, I don't want to add anything. So this is pretty much what I want to do. I just want to stick with default value. But I can make sure that I have here XA and XA, XA are all these three A's are related to AC, which is a one six AC, which is known as knit part or knit kitabi. All right, so I need to save this document in sample here. In sample, I just want to need to save it and go back to data loader, insert. I'm just going to insert to inventory item serial and go to this document, sample, you can see here. And I just want to choose the sample file and click next. So we initialize, we got 11 record because we ignore the first one because it's. Uh, uh, it's a uh, column header. So I need to create a new map and map the name here to this name. No, this name, I'm sorry, zero to the name. And also I need to map the other field which is related to record type ID to this RCID. And I'm just going to click OK and click Next. This is where the error are thrown and the log files. So I'm just going to click finish and proceed. Notice that we have 11 successful insert with zero errors have been inserted into Salesforce. So I should see uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, six AC, which is known as. Um, net kitabi. So if you go right now to inventory item serial and choose the view net kitabi 
I'm going to see here three A's. This is the first one, this is the second, and this is the third one that we inserted into Salesforce. In other, in other uh, corner, I can go to Ports, and I can see that we inserted this item, and this item, and this item, and this item, as corresponding to all the X's here. So all the X's here are inserted today. So I have one, two, three. And also, I can see here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven records. Because the default record type ID is for parts. So in this way, we covered how we can insert data into Salesforce related to a specified record type ID. So we insert it into Nitkitabi. You can see here one, two, and three. And also we insert it into ports. Let me just... You can see all the elements are for the default one, which is port, are going to be inserted. So this is how you can use data loader in order to upload data to a specified uh, record ID. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Here's Ahmad Nasser from HNW Consult Mina. Thank you again and see you in other tutorials.